man. Quarantine sucks. Yeah, uh, I'm done with this. We've been stuck indoors for a month now. I'm bored as hell. I just want to go out like you used to do back in February. Me too. Guys, do you remember the school trip we took last month? Sure I do. We had crazy fun in Brighton. If only we could go back there. Oh, oh, guess what? Uh, yesterday I came across some pictures uh, we took there. Yeah, let's see them. Uh, just a minute, I'm sharing my screen. Oh, that's the coffee shop. Now we know that managing an apparently simple business like a small coffee shop can be challenging too. You have to think about everything from scratch. Most importantly, the design of the place. It needs to attract customers and so its location, for example, has to be the right one. But ordinary things, such as choosing the proper coffee seed, can be difficult. There are dozens of different kinds indeed. And the grams of coffee ground is also important to get the best aroma ever. Oh, the Farmer's Stadium. I'm totally sure it has been my favorite experience in Brighton. Probably the most useful thing we have learned there was stuff like how to manage the football club with restaurants, shops and conference rooms. We learned how many different activities are needed to run a proper stadium. Things like the care of the pitch, the cafes, the waiters of the restaurants. I had never realized how many people could be actually involved in this type of organization. What did we do in the other days? I can't remember. Well, how could you forget? Don't remember the TV studio? There it is! I really enjoyed it since we had the opportunity to take part in a simulation of a real TV show. First, we talked about how TV studios are organized, then we had to come up with some fake news and discuss about them as they do in a breaking news TV. In my view, I found extremely interesting, uh, like getting to know what happens uh, behind the scenes uh, and how stuff works, like uh, the green screen, the backstage, uh, cameras and uh, post-production, stuff like that. Dude, everything there really captured my attention, also the classes we took. At school, in fact, we received many useful advices and discovered new things about the world of work. The teacher, for example, explained us how to write our own CV and how to behave during a job interview to effectively land the job. And yes, and we also got important skills to deal with productive time management, good career path and life choices. Uh, we worked in groups and test our understanding by organizing a trip uh, based uh, on marketing interviews we made to people in the streets. That's true. The fact that we always had to talk in a foreign language and do things on our own, like taking buses uh, to go to school or staying in an English family was something tough. But we grew a lot in terms of managing ourselves and were forced to get out from our comfort zone. Oh, you are right. On the whole, this experience improved our knowledge of English, our pronunciation, our social and management skills. This is going to be definitely useful for our future careers. Mm -hmm.